guys welcome back to another vlog today is Saturday July 26th I think 25th and we're going on a very short vacation but just a little we can get away but much needed and we're excited so we are going camping at Virginia Beach with Marion's brother and his wife and their two boys so we've never gone camping with them before so it's gonna be really fun and Jackson's gonna love having boys to play with it's a nine o'clock in the morning I'm still trying to round everybody up, but we've got the van packed. Everything's ready. It'll be a nice change from the kitchen renovation vlogs, hopefully. Um, we're just going to go spend two days at the beach, and then we're going to be coming back on Monday, and we're going to come. It's about a four-hour drive from our house, so on Monday when we leave, when we check out, we're going to go to Ikea and a couple other stores like At Home and the Christmas tree shop, hopefully, just like some stores that we don't have here, and they're a good two hours away so we're gonna be doing some shopping on Monday hopefully I can there's a few things I need for the kitchen and Elena needs some stuff for her new apartment that she's about to get so Monday we'll be shopping but the next two days just gonna be some sand and sun and waves and I'm excited it's gonna be a perfect weekend it's gonna be nice and hot and sunny so I'm happy about that my sister will be here taking care of all my babies they don't know actually they do know when we're leaving they they can tell and they get all antsy and it's sad but She's going to be here, so they will not be alone. They will not be sad. So, But anyway, i got to hurry up and get off of here, get everything packed up, and we'll see you on the road. checked into our campground and um, set everything up and now it's 3:45. so later than I wanted to get going down to the beach but we had to get everything set up and there's like a huge storm that's kind of south of us hopefully it stays that way but we are all sweating <laughs> like crazy and ready to get in the water so um, yeah let's hope we get have good weather I don't think it's really like Usually by this time of day, I don't really get sunburned, so that's good. But hopefully we can enjoy a few hours in the water, and then we're going to go get some stuff for dinner, and it'll be fun. So...
not too deep. <laughs> Here comes another one. You're making the fire uh, look fancy with rocks all around it. Yeah, Ma and Madison look, is our look, like fire starter. With yeah. Here's a little and view of our campsite. We have no neighbors over here, so that's awesome. This is our towels, and then there's another line over there. Got some hammocks, tents. Madison's making our fire, like I said, and over there's the food table. Plenty big enough for all of us. The fire loves how he has a new best friend and he loves himself. Look at all look at all that the Deegan did. Check. Check. All those friend. rocks. Madison dug yeah, it out. Deegan decorated it. I'm impressed. You and Deegan are a good team, Madison. Wait. I'm giving them some hair. Oh, he's gotta give him some hair. I'm sorry, you gave him two hair. He made a little hair. Oh, yeah, made a little fire, so he loved What's them. His name? Oh. Bob. Bob. <laughs> Bob. Okay, so we we ate dinner. It was delicious. And now Deegan, my nephew well, Deegan and I, we are gonna do some. What is this called? Mystical fire. We're gonna toss this in the campfire and show them your show them your cool moves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Deegan's gonna do the honors and drop it in the fire. Well, good morning. It is, what is today? Sunday? Is today, today is Sunday. Um, and we got everything packed and we are headed down to the beach. It is so, what did you say? It feels like 97 right now already and it's like 10.30 in the morning. Got some sandwiches packed and um, all the snacks, all the drinks. And my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they're gonna be leaving after we swim. They're gonna come back, I think, and well, they gotta get her, their stuff. But we're gonna be staying tonight, so we're gonna swim early and then maybe we'll come back to the boardwalk tonight when it's cooler, you know. That's always fun, we like doing that in the evening. So, let's go to the beach.
we left the beach because everybody was getting stung. My sister-in-law got bit by a jellyfish, stung by a jellyfish really bad. And we were all getting bit by something, so we just came back to the campground. And we're gonna swim for a little while because it is hot today and the pool looks really refreshing. been an adventurous day sometimes you know you have the best of plans and things just don't go as planned and you have to roll with it so this has been the craziest day so we got out early or we got up early and we went to the beach and then everybody started getting stung and it just was not working out so I think we were only there for like two hours maybe before we just couldn't take it anymore so we left and then we went in the pool and it was fun we got to swim for like an hour and then we came back and we had all these plans and I was like I don't really want to make a fire and hot dogs and all tonight I don't know I was just was like let maybe we'll go walk on the boardwalk and grab some pizza or something so then it started raining and like crazy lightning like we literally saw striking and so now we're going on like hour three of torrential rain and storms and this entire campground is flooded there are I'll show you some of the potholes and the flooding it is crazy they said like one to two inches an hour and it's been raining for like three hours so and there's more coming I got to get out of the way oh here's the girls so and there's more coming so we have a change of plans and I'll let you know in a minute because there's a car behind me Okay, so anyways, we decided to get a hotel because I'm never the person that does that. I can stay in a tent when it's raining. We've done it every time we go camping, it rains, but like these are crazy storms and flooding rain and crazy lightning and i said you know what we were driving down the road trying to find something to do i said let's get a hotel i will get a hotel i will pay for a hotel i don't even care so we got a hotel and right now in the lightning still we're trying to pack everything up and it's going to be our tent is wet our chairs are wet our hammocks wet all our towels all that it's going to be sitting in our car so that's fun when we get home we're going to have to literally unpack everything and let it dry like set everything up and yes. let it dry otherwise it will mold anyway whatever that is the change of plan so we're gonna go to a hotel tonight and we're gonna get up tomorrow and drive over to Ikea and do some shopping tomorrow's gonna be a shopping day I, I hate doing this but we want to go walk on the beach tonight and you know it's gonna be fun but it just didn't turn out that way so we're just gonna have to change our plans and grateful to God that he's kept us safe and that we are still gonna have fun So there was standing water in the tent covering the air mattresses crazy i think it's time we get a different tent because last year we went camping if you saw my 
camp and vlog we go every summer with our small group and there was a terrible storm then and we didn't have a ton of water but we did have some and this time we had a lot so Marion's entire bag of clothes is wet so hopefully the hotel we're going to has a washer and dryer we can just at least maybe wash some tonight I don't know we'll see but we're all just ready to get to a nice dry place because <laughs> this is crazy cleared out behind me it looks bad that's where it's going but finally cleared out so we came down to take a few pictures of Madison's earrings for her hey. earring business palm and Kiwi Co. if you haven't checked it out on Instagram make sure you check it out she makes beautiful earrings and she's been really wanting to go to the beach take a few pictures of her there's different collections maybe the what is this collection the sunset Sunset. The Sunset Collection. So make sure to check that out. She's big. Oh, let me show them. Is this one of them? These are new. I haven't listed them yet. These are new ones. So I know some of you have bought them and we so appreciate you supporting her. But she really wanted to take a few pictures on the beach with the, the so we're doing that and then we're going to run to a shop before we head up to our hotel. This is how it looks off this way and even if we decided we weren't going to get a hotel we were going to because it's cleared up now everything we own is was wet so not everything we own everything we have here is wet so anyway that is the plan it is like 8 30 and you know like i said sometimes you gotta change your plans i'm a planner the seals were in the facility he wanted to see the seals of the aquarium but they had brought them inside but we're all just trying to roll with it because there's been some disappointment there's been a few tears but it's all good we're gonna make it so take you to the hotel and tomorrow's gonna be fun i'm excited about that Marion's just standing over there watching me and everybody else is watching me vlog too, so. <laughs> but I'm doing it for you guys. All right, there's a race about to, about to go down. <laughs> Elena's being a good sister. All right, on your mark, get set, go! I think she cheated. <laughs> you think I cheated? <laughs> All right, well, we are in our hotel room. It is 11.20. <laughs> it was a long drive and um, it just seems like everything that could go wrong has been happening today, but um, it's all it's all good. Marion's currently downstairs putting his laundry in the dryer from the washer. We're just going to be doing some shopping tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll vlog, but we'll just be doing some shopping and hopefully we'll get some Chewies, my favorite Mexican food. And then we'll be home tomorrow night, so I guess I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning and happy Monday. I dropped my glasses. It is Monday and we... Uh, it's like lunchtime, but we had to run a few places and or get some medicine. Madison gets car sick, so you know. Anyways, uh, we're stopped at Sonic to have some lunch, but it's so, so, so hot. They have like some tables over there. I think we're going to go sit on those. They're in the shade. And then we'll head over to Ikea first because it's here in Norfolk. And then we'll head over towards... Richmond, Marion's got a headache and his allergies are acting up, so. <laughs> well, we made it to Ikea. I had seen some where there was lines outside. Thankfully, there's no line.
Well, we made it home finally. It's like after 10 o'clock and it has been a long day. I um, didn't vlog much today because we were just driving and then we went into Ikea as you saw and then I went over to, we drove like a hundred and something miles. We got to at home and I was there for a while but I just was feeling really bad. I started feeling, I think I'm getting a cold. Marion's had like a sinus infection and I think he might have given it to me. So I, I just was feeling bad and I didn't pull out my camera and then I took a Sudafed um, between that store and Chewy's where we went to dinner which you saw. We had planned on going to like Trader Joe's and the Christmas tree shop but I just was not feeling good. So we, then we drove home and we got home at like 9.40, I guess like a half hour ago and we're just like putting all the wet chairs in the backyard and the mattresses and the tent. We have to set that up. I already threw a load of towels and bathing suits in the wash. I just literally have like 17 loads to do. I'll just show you what it looks like. That's like my laundry pile. That's gonna be fun. And then I did unpack the coolers, but I have all this to unpack and then stuff that goes down. It's just a mess. But I thought before I got off of here tonight, I would um, show y'all what I picked up at Ikea and at at home because I want to go ahead and like unpack and put stuff up tomorrow. So I figured I would do that tonight before I get off of here. So I'm going to put you on the tripod and I'm going to show you what I got. All right, I'm going to do this really quick because this video, I don't know, it's probably long three days worth of vlogging. So, um, when I went to Ikea, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Ikea, I love their stuff, but it's not like my style, a lot of it. So, but they have really cool kitchen gadgets and stuff. So I picked up one of these, I don't know what it's called, but you put them like this in your shell, in your cabinet, and then you can, um, put like your cookie sheets and things in it and they'll stand up. A couple of you guys suggested this, um, on one of my videos. And so I found one and I grabbed it. I got some more of their sponges. I love these. We did get a couple of their candy bars and their uh, cinnamon rolls because everybody loves those. Jackson got a pillow. Um, he's already got it. It's like got a big lion face on it. He just loves like cats, lions. So he begged for it and I said that's fine. He can put it on his bed. And then I picked up one of these big, um, I guess you could put them in it, you could put silverware, you could put what, anything in it, but in, and now that I have that big giant drawer, I can actually put this in there, and I'm gonna organize, like we put our rechargeable batteries and like all our clips for our bat, chip bags and stuff, so anyway, they had like one that was like twice that size, but this was only two something, so I grabbed that, I grabbed one of these little things for your, your iPhone, you know, you can set it up on it for Marion. I also did get one of those, like, I don't know how you say it, D-A-I-M, they're like the toffee candy bars they have, and then they have this, like, cake, almond cake, and then it has that on it, and I got a piece of that one time when I was there, and I found, like, a whole cake in the freezer, so I was excited about that. My battery is flashing, so I better make this quick. I was looking for a new um, utensil holder in the kitchen, because, you know, I have that blue one in there, and I'm, I'm straying away from that darker, that darker shade of blue. So I went to at home specifically looking for something to put my uh, big utensils in. So I found this crock and it was $12.99 and it's beautiful. It's huge. It's a little taller than I wanted, but it's beautiful. And it's going to go perfect. My new farmhouse kitchen. I love it. Um, and you know I'm going to have lots of shelves and things to decorate. So I was looking for a few things just to see if I found anything I loved. And this was $8.99 but it was on clearance so it was half off. And it's this little like white wooden box with like a galvanized pot. And I can put flowers in it or, or probably greenery. And that will be really pretty in the kitchen too. Probably in the kitchen. This was $10.99 and it says farmer's market and it's got the little handles that actually match like my kitchen handles on my drawers and says farm fresh. So cute. I can put greenery or utensils or whatever I want. It's so adorable. Definitely wanted to grab that and then I grabbed, I was looking for a rug to go in my kitchen in front of my sink and I've been looking everywhere but this one was $14.99 and it's really long <laughs> but it's just like a gray and white I thought it was really pretty kind of neutral I can it's 100% cotton I can throw it in the wash you know and lastly I got three of these like I thought they were really cute shaped and I hadn't seen these before they were $4.99 each I think 
yes i got three of them and i can put like my mugs in them down underneath my like the coffee pot area or i can put them under my sink with my chemical my cleaners and stuff so that is all i got but anyway i hope you enjoyed this vlog this trip didn't go as planned but you know it was wonderful we had a great time we made great memories it was a little stressful at times and i've got a huge mess to clean up but i'm so grateful to god that he gave us a safe trip and we really did have fun and you know it's a good lesson in uh taking what comes and don't let it let it overwhelm you last night we had like several obstacles to overcome even like getting to the hotel just a lot of things that were happening is like every time we did something something went wrong but we j i was like maybe god's trying to tell us to not um get too stressed out like just take each obstacle as it comes and don't look at the whole picture because we can only see what's right in front of us but he sees the whole picture and so it helped me to not get too stressed out <laughs> but anyway we had a great time great great time i hope that you enjoyed this vlog thank you all so much for watching and for commenting and all the thumbs up you guys are amazing i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye